RBGFM, locals talking to locals. On the telephone line, we pop out to the beautiful Cavity Island and say kia ora, marina, and all the rest of it to John Barrett. Good morning, John. Uh, morena. Lovely morning out there on the Cavity. You're getting the southern. Yeah, I'm good. You're getting the southerly out there? Yeah, it's blowy. It's blowy. Yep. Didn't cause any damage to the trees like it has on parts of the district? Well, a little bit of damage, but look, the, the trees have been through a pretty hard season as it is, you know. Hot sun, howling winds, we've had it all this, this year, so um, um, floor is pretty resilient, you yeah, know. Yeah, fair enough too. Now, you're into tourism in a big way. The Air New Zealand news that they're pulling out of Kapiti is uh, not good for our tourism, is it? It's very, very bad for our tourism, Nigel, not just not good... Um, I thought about it, you know, some, I've heard tragic already, it's, it's not tragic, you know, tragic's when you lose somebody close to you, but um, this, this is pretty close to it in terms of growing tourism for our district. Uh, it, it's a, it is a very, very hard, solid blow, actually. The suddenness of it, I suppose, John, has caught everybody unaware, so we're sort of taking a second breath at the moment. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think... I might be on record actually as saying over the last few years that you can never be sure with a one airline um, environment, you know, yes. unless these things make money, they they are very, very quick to pull services. And, you know, YRAP has had that experience. The Far North has had that experience. Um, so regional services are always and constantly at risk. But nonetheless, it's still a real shock when it happens. Yes, that's right. Uh, especially, especially when we... Had, especially with no signals. Yeah, that's right. Like, as the Mayor said, he only found out 5.30 last night about this uh, action. So, And we had an open day last Saturday. Well, that's doubly astonishing. You know, when you, when you think about the fact that Air New Zealand was there um, at the weekend promoting the uh, ongoing use of Kapiti Airport, it's just astounding. Yes. I mean, they must have known some time ago that they were going to do this, and they could have said, well, no, uh, we're not going to be taking part in this particular air show, and we don't want anything to do with it. They, they would have to have known weeks ago, Nigel. Yeah. So that, that's what really, um, that's, anno- that's annoying and quite, quite astonishing, yeah. if you ask me. All right, well, the decision's been made. It's a business decision, and as we say, business yep. is business. And, uh, I mean, it could be that uh, Cavity Island pulled out one of their boats because they were getting no business. So, I mean, I'm just throwing that in. You're not. You're flat out. But uh, that yeah, could we happen. Are, we are. And, you know, we, we would um, – we're a little bit different. We would probably – and during the winter, we still run our boat, even though it's close to marginal for us. Uh, pe- people come all the way from who knows where to go to Cavity Island they don't want to hear that there's no boat running because we haven't got enough people. You just you just can't do that if you're running a good faith business. No. Got to take the good with the bad, John. You do. That's right. Yeah, yep. good. Well, okay. How's the island going at the moment? Do we need to make bookings or can you just wander down and jump uh, on a boat? We, we, we operated today even in a little bit of a subtly. Bookings are still holding up pretty well. Yep. Uh, we're, we're looking... Uh, bookings are holding up right through to the end of May. Uh, June starts to tail off. Then... The, the prospects for next season look really good. It's bookings already for right through next season have, have started to roll in. So it's looking as though the tourism uh, is holding up for the next, at least for the next 12 months. Good on you. And uh, you can get out to one of those lovely glam uh, cabins of yours and spend a few days just relaxing. You Read can, a book. Yep, you sure can. Yeah, yep. good as gold. Good Kai, fresh fish. That's right. <laughs> John, good talking to you. All right, Nigel. And, uh, sorry, we'll, sorry, to be, sorry to be discussing such a, a gloomy topic, though, as the, uh, as the airport. But we'll think of Capity Island. That brightens us up again, John. That's right. Good on you. That's right. Thanks, Nigel. Okay. 106.3 BGFM.